Solutions, so. What's up, guys? Uh, been a little bit of a slow week again on my channel, but uh, I'll fix that soon. Maybe I'll even do two videos tonight, or put up a video that I have from regionals. The one that I talked about where uh, they yelled at us for recording partway through. But I still have game one of that match, so that might go up there just, you know, for viewing pleasures. But uh, it's Thursday, so... I'm going to do card of the week on time this week. So the card of the week for January 20th and the week surrounding it is going to be Morphing Jar. Simply because I have one in my binder and I think it's a really interesting card. I bought it because it has the purple lettering from the Duelist League. I think that's really awesome. But uh, a couple cool things about Morphing Jar. Um... You can disrupt your opponent's strategies if they seem to be holding on to their hand. You set Morphing Jar. Don't make it obvious, you know, four back rows and a monster. That's either a Great Keeper Spire or a Morphing Jar. Classic. But, uh, you know, you can disrupt their cards in their hand and uh, replenish yours. Um, you can play Giant Trunade, but prior to flipping this card, you know, you Trunade yours, set your cards back, and then discard their entire field and hand. That usually leads to a great swing in tempo. It's like Heavy Storm, but legal. Um, you can replenish lost resources. Um, when you're losing, like I said, you can just you know, use this guy, and if they had more than five cards, or you had less than five cards, it's, it's profiting to you. Um, you can cushion out Royal Tribute. If you got Royal Tribute and you draw Morphing Jar, you can just be like, well, I just drew this shit monster and set it, and... They might not overcommit yet. Then when they attack into it, you'll be like, surprise, you know, oh, new hand of cards. Maybe they'll draw another Royal Tribute, but, you know, you hope for the best on those kind of things. Um, something that came up with this card in a regional match for me at Countryside was the option to deck your opponent out. Um, we were in a sticky spot game one, and I had two cards left in my deck, and he had three. And... I was really conservative with my Book of Moon, just in case uh, I could get the book off on the jar. If he did something threatening, I would attack the Morphing Jar and book it, deck us both out at the same time, and send us to Game 2 drawed. But the last card in my deck was Assailant, so I ended up winning on my last card, and then winning Game 2 by 100 or something in time. But I was very close to drawing that match completely. But uh, that was one of the most exciting matches I've had in a long time. That was a really good deck. Um... Miss Valley Falcon, Stun, I really enjoyed that match. It's too bad he uh, ended up scrubbing out or whatever, because I saw him sleeping uh, um, outside the room. Um, then the last point I have about Morphing Jar is that in decks like Quick Draw, Dandy Warrior, or just Debris Plans, you can abuse the cards that were discarded, like Spore, Dandelion, Glow Bulb. If those hit the can from your hand, those... Those are good to have. That's why people play Wing Blast and stuff. But uh, if you Morphing Jar them, you gain advantage in that way too. So, um, hope you enjoyed this card of the week. And you can put all your comments and questions and cool plays you've made with Morphing Jar below. And uh, we will have more videos up from the local this weekend, I promise. And hopefully we'll have more steady flow of videos as the semester begins again. Peace.